I completely forgot that the quests give you like a bunch of live arena tokens, but with so limited time frames for live arena, you oftentimes don't get to use all of them. So we're gonna do um, some speed battles. Um, I mean, I like that they increased it to like three hours, but yeah, we're just gonna go through a bunch of uh, rounds. Uh, just so you guys know, I am going to do what I normally do. I, I look, I'm gonna look for the quick matches and I'm just gonna quickly leave. So like, for example, this one, I'm just gonna leave. Uh, and I've talked about this. I, I did a video last month, over last month, uh, talking about how to, um, you know, cheat the system, which isn't, it wasn't, when I put it out, I don't think it was that well known. Not that it was unknown completely, but I didn't see a lot of people talking about it. So there's that. Um, and now with all the updates to Live Arena, everybody's gonna want ways to just get easy fights. And so what you do is you, what you don't wanna do is just leave it AFK. Don't be that dick bag that just AFKs the entire thing. If you know you're gonna go into Live Arena, don't use a bot, don't AFK, unless it's able to do everything for you quick, fast, and in a fucking hurry. Now, my suggestion to you guys is just to go in, get out. It saves everybody time, right? So yeah, that's what we're doing this time. All right, and taking arena tips here, we're gonna choose three supports, one being a lockout, another being our mons, and then two damage dealers. So that's a pretty good combo. That's a, a combo that I like to use quite often, but um, we're gonna go ahead and use Rotos here. And we're going to get rid of shit. I don't even know who to get rid of. We're kind of screwed. I feel like we're screwed. That's a bad combo to have. Um, but let's go ahead and get rid of their speed booster. Our hope here is that we're going to be able to outspeed this other team. But we'll see. And stone skin. Gotcha. All right, let's go boost. And who should we get rid of? I, I want to get rid of Ancora. I feel like we should get rid of Mikage, though. Because lockout. Or um, stun. Just getting stun locked. Now she'll either bring her back or do that. Now, trying to go up against Hrima with Rotos isn't the best. But the best we can do is try to steal some HP to boost Rotos's HP. Of course, her passive pops off. Taking the sleep. He goes in. Strangely enough, doesn't kill. I thought it was a double hitter. I thought his A1 was a double hitter. I'm probably not remembering it correctly. Okay, so now what we see happening is King Narcissus is about to take a move. We try to sleep her, sleep him, but Ancora is just annoying as crap. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now we have to worry about King Narcissus taking a move. We don't have increased attack. So we have a bit of an issue there. He counterattacked, and we're going to use Rotos. Hopefully this gets through again. We don't have increased attack. Shoot, can we can we uh, push turn meter back? Can we try to get a sleep in? Okay, we got a sleep in. He wasn't able to take a move. What is she gonna do? Okay, so she brings back Makage. Harima attacks. We're gonna push Makage back. Now we can either sleep or revive. Georgid. I think we need to sleep Mikage. Just to be extra safe, because if she's able to take a turn... Oh my god, she took a she's gonna take a turn. There it is. We get stunned. I'm getting stunned. There it is. Now, Rodos is still able to take a turn. Because of um, the passive. Never mind. And yeah, I'm not gonna waste your guys' time. Yeah, so usually by the third or fourth loss battle, you know, the battle that comes after your consecutive losses, this is the fight that's going to be easier. And it looks relatively easy. I mean, Elva and Wukong aren't too hard to deal with, especially when you have a Neathway. And he's got Teox. I remember my last time going up against Teox. We're not doing that again. So we're going to get rid of Teox because he's just not it. We're not dealing with that. All right. So we have our three supports, gets rid of our mons, and we have our damage dealers. So we're definitely going to be going faster. Siffy is going to place the block buffs. We don't really have to worry about Tormund because Siffy is going first. 
and they do have stone skin so that could be um, a slight issue in the sense that it's going to take a little bit longer but nothing that we can't handle and we still don't hit hard enough let's go ahead and boost gonna hit torment here can we remove now we're gonna keep this because he's about to do his a3 wukong's about to do his a3 so we're gonna hold off on using the a2 and this is uh this is um, an area or this is an exact moment where i think that having a lockout would have done me very well but i just wasn't remembering All right, so we can't put anybody to sleep. But we can uh, poke a little bit at Tormund. And bringing Anithwe back is going to be a bit of an issue because freeze. But what we can do is just hope for the best. Now let's hit Elva because she's got stone skin. Extra damage is going to go over here. It's a stun Tormund, so that's not good. I'm over here saying, oh, you get easier fights. Well, this is the fourth fight, and it's not an easier fight. Like, it's not a quick fight, is what I'm saying. Who's going to A2? Yeah. Well, I'll just eat a dick on that, then. All right, let's do this. And damn, I was so confident about that last fight, too. I was like, yeah, this is an easy win. But yeah, um, I, I feel like we have this one <laughs> in the back. We have our three supports, one being a lockout. He chose Armand's first. We're going to ban Armand's. We have Tormin to counter Yastrid, but he brought Dark Elhain in. So now I'm wondering, should I even bother banning Armand's? Because I know I'm going to outs... No, we're going to ban Armand's. There's there's no if and or buts between any of it. We're going we're gonna to do it. We're going to do it. We'll be fine. Yeah, Dark, El El Dark Elhain is an excellent counter to torment but let's see if um we can't get rid of dark elhane first all right so we get rid of dark elhane first this frolny is gonna hit hard and yeah advanced quest complete what jim hi okay so what was it that it was four losses, and then I started getting relatively easier fights. So, yeah. Three, four. Shut the door. Five, six. Pick up sticks. Armands. Don't forget Armands. Then we need to do a lockout. Don't forget the plan. Do not forget the plan. Taking tips from Live Arena Pros. We're going to go in with uh, Tormund also. Again, Tormund is a damage dealer. I built him in Savage. Not the strongest damage dealer, but still strong enough. Jing Wong, I think, hits pretty hard. I, I've, I've only fought him like once, but he hit me damn hard. So damn hard. We're going to get rid of... We're going to keep... I'm going to get rid of the bomber. I don't have enough experience fighting Quintus and Jing Wong. Wong. And because of that, I, I, I sometimes like to keep champions in just so I can have more experience fighting them. Right? Because the more experience you have fighting them... You, you know what I'm trying to say. Alright, so we boost turn meter. If she tries to boost... Then Tormund's gonna do his thing. Boop, boop. Really? The one who doesn't have... The one, the one who has stone skin on. Okay. Let's get rid of... Jing Wong. Because I don't know what he does. Even though I just said I wanted to find out what he does. And Quintus. The first two I was just like, yeah, let's go find out what they do. And I didn't sit around to find out what they do. Oh well. I'm human. I backpedal on things as much as Polarium does. That's not true. I don't backpedal as much as Polarium does. They have a record for, for things. Oh god, I don't, I don't want to get into it on this video. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Now... You don't want to have a win streak. And I talked about that again in my um, other video talking about how I deal with Live Arena. But you don't want to have a win streak. So after, if I win this one, again, we can't get too cocky. Got to keep myself humbled because there's instances where, like we just saw, I get humbled. I don't want to, um, I forgot what I was saying. Never mind. All right. 
So we go first. Lockout. Boom. And let's get rid of Arbeiter. Und Thor. Come on, Raddy. I'm gonna put you to sleep so you don't take up so much time making a decision. Boom. And we're gonna do this. And then we poke you again. And then boop, boop. This guy came out swinging. He came out swinging like he was ready. Goodness. And then he comes out with a mythical champion. Excellent work. All right, so he's got, that's probably a, a Wukong with Brimstone. It's interesting. Odin, okay. Well, it seems like a lot of buffs are gonna go up. We're gonna bring in Tormin. And let's get rid of Wukong. I want to keep Siegfried here. I wanna keep him just to uh, have a little more experience going up against him. I've, I've beaten him a few times. Sometimes he can get a little bit annoying, but um, let's just do this. Let's do this. Let's start off by Armanzing the situation. Now he doesn't. What was that? Okay, let's get, let's put, let's decommission you first for a bit. Let's get rid of Arbiter. And let's get rid of Jing Wong. Gonna poke you. Doesn't do anything. Now, let's do this. We're gonna try and provoke. Okay, we, we don't get the provoke off, but we're able to activate his passive, which means all we need is for Rotos to take a turn. And it's a clap. Ugh. There, oh, never mind. Still gotta wait one more turn. Okay, we're gonna bring our mons back. Pookie Bear, let's do this. All right. Odin, push you back. You're not gonna take a turn, you're gonna wait. You wait your turn. You wait your turn, Odin. There you go. All right, yeah, uh, like I was saying, you don't want a win streak, and I think this is the fourth win in a row, so the next one should be relatively difficult for me to deal with. Level 97, but he's at 4,800. Hmm. Let's try this one just to see. In my experience, lower level accounts usually have like really tough champions. So we'll, we'll see. Like they have, they have the champions, but they don't always have the gear because gear just takes time to, uh, to get, to accumulate. So we'll see. Loki want to bring, I should have brought Harima in so that they can't bring in harim as a damage dealer cut that combo in half see that's what i was fucking talking about I, I fucking knew it i fucking knew it i shouldn't have done that i should not have done that that's fine we're gonna do it fatalis is there we'll see all right so who are they gonna ban are they gonna let me keep georgian because georgian would make this run a lot easier especially with harima there and no they don't all right Hopes and dreams, guys. Hopes and dreams. I need them. I need you to raise your hands like it's a spirit bomb. And even though this recording, by the time you see this is, you know, this uh, moment already passed, I still need that energy. All right? Raise your hands. Send it to me in the past. Give me that energy. I need to win this. Okay. We have to get rid of Makage first. So, skills on cooldown. Oh, Makage, die. Oh, weak hit, fuck. All right, go to sleep, go to sleep, Makage. Don't do anything. Fuck. She always removes the, de um, what do you call it? She always removes the debuff on her with her passive, I think, where it's just like, okay, well, let's put Fatalis back now. We can't do that. Okay, now we're, now we're in shitty situations. This is a shitty situation. We do not want this. This is a bad one to have. Let's not let Harima do anything. Let's try to keep her from making moves. I forgot what Fatalis does. Hmm. Fuck. Did we not... We did nothing to him. He's really trying to hit... Leave my... Leave my Rotos alone! He's really trying to Rotos. Wait, why, am... why is Rotos not really doing anything to him, though? Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Can we push Odin back a bit, bit? Hmm. Yeah, this one's gonna be a... T oh my god! Alright, alright, alright. No, no, no. Chill. Leave... Leave Arbiter alone. Push you back a bit. Come on. Arbiter, yes! Can we get Siffy back? But can we do anything prior to... Can we get rid of Odin? No, we can't. We can't get rid of Odin. But we can... We can lock out. We can lock... I don't think the lockout went on Harima, though. Uh-oh. He and I are both just like, oh crap, what's going on? Both of us are just like, it's up in the air. We don't know who's going to win this one. El cura loco. Cura? ¿Qué es cura? Huh. Damn it. Come on, warlord, heal. Give some healing. Uh-oh. All right. Okay. The only damage we can do is to Mikage currently. Let's... We'll take a swipe at Mikage. Ah, oh, fuck! The weak hits, bruh! Should I have hit the A1? Oh, no! Fuck! There it is. He's got it. He's gonna clap. He's gonna clap. He's gonna clap. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck! Yeah, so... um. Honestly, that was my bad. Cause I, I even I even said to myself, but it was like I, I said it after the fact I had done that. I keep forgetting that anytime I see a Makage, you don't want to let them have the opportunity to get Harima. Now, granted, I think Fatalis was putting in work too. I, I completely forgot what that champion does. I even I even had a guide done for him, but I, I still just wasn't aware. So we're gonna take a few losses because obviously. Um, they're starting to pair me with people I can't compete with. I'm just not a sweaty boy. You know, I don't really sweat like that. The nice thing about having this channel... Um, is be It's like... I can be weird. That's weird to say out loud. <laughs> but it's like I, I can have the freedom to just kind of be me. And it's like an outlet for me. To just kind of do whatever I want. And why is this taking so long? Match me with somebody. Did you guys hear about the um, North Korean soldiers allegedly addicted to adult videos? Because they they got sent to Russia or something? Alright, so Mikage's there. Immediately choosing Harima. And we're going to pick Armand's. Yeah, I thought that was a wild story. Because in North Korea, they don't have... The freedom, uh, fr freedom, freedom. <laughs> I mean, uh, freedom. They don't have the uh, the America to be able to do that kind of thing. That's right, America. Fuck you. A fully blessed Mikage. All right, Taurus, Marishka, Siffy, Rodos. Thrall is annoying in her own right too. Oh, we can't forget our lockout. Definitely doing a lockout too. Come on. Come on, hit me. Hit me. I feel like after the Dark Knight, they just couldn't land. Have you guys seen the the Batman movies that came after the Dark Knight? I feel like that trilogy was just it. I don't see anything topping it. Like the joke the first Joker movie that came out with um Joaquin, is that his name? That was a pretty good Joker, I think. I didn't watch the second one. I saw a lot of bad things about it. Not much to say about that. But I feel like every Batman iteration after that didn't really hit. Like, I wasn't too convinced on the Twilight uh, guy doing, um, what do you call it? We're gonna get rid of Mikage here. Doing Batman. So, let's see. And the reason I got rid of Mikage is because of that con uh, control that she's got. It can be extremely annoying and just ruin everything. Really? You let me keep Armand's? So my second fastest champion is going to be Warlord then. And I think it was a really good idea to put him in Stone Skin. It's always it's just been helpful. Now I can see why everybody else is putting their champions in Stone Skin as well. Oh, we should not have stunned. Because you still have the ability to cleanse. So let's do that. 
and let's hit Mikage. Or not Mikage. Oh, I could have just done that. What am I doing? I guess I was fine. I was totally fine. I'm, I'm over here tripping. There you go. Let him know. For as strong as Taurus is, I feel like he's felt fallen off. I don't see him so much in Arena anymore. And I don't use him much in Arena anymore. So, oh, what do we get from this chest? Let's see. Hey, this is actually not bad. This Chaos Dust is not bad. I I'll take that. I'll take that. All right, he brought in uh, Tormin. I banned his Armands. He brought in Tormin to try and uh, get rid of uh, this issue here, but we're gonna be fine because I think at the very least, if we can get rid of Wukong, we'll be fine. So we're going to, well, see, here's the issue. Oh, we'll just hit the A1. There you go. And now we can get rid of Wukong like that. Makage's A2 could be very annoying as well. Probably hit the A3. We still have to worry about him. He could be a damage dealer. But it doesn't look like he's a damage Wukong. So we might be okay there. And let's hit you. Get rid of this petrification issue that you've wrought upon us. And there you go. Now we just have to hold off for a bit. Oh, I should have waited until he had a turn. Ah, it's fine. It's Harima. All right. So you know why I had to ban, U uh, ban UDK? Can't have him staying around with uh, Rodos here. I'm confident that we're going to outspeed Arbiter, so we should be fine. So let's boost turn meter. Then we're going to let uh, Warlord push everybody back. And then we can boop, boop. And then, wow. All right, we got matched up with the same guy. He's bringing in Eostrid, which I'm gonna ban just because I don't know what her speed is. It's quite possible that she could outspeed us and I just can't let that happen. Who knows? She might've been faster than Arbiter. I wasn't expecting him to ban uh, Sifi, but we should be fine either way. I should have brought in Tormin, but that's only in retrospect. You only realize things in retrospect. Okay, so either the... I think she's going to try and hit the A3 to remove the stone skin. Very nice. Well done. Boom. Now, Tor, uh, Thor, I almost said Tor. Uh, Thor is able to still hit his, his move because the, the cooldowns didn't go on him. But Harima's still here. So, boop, boop. Yeah. All right, because... He brought in Marishka, I brought in Anithwe, and got banned either way. So it's fine. But I still think we're gonna be okay. I feel like we're gonna be Bill. We're gonna be Bill. We're gonna be able to do enough damage either way. And I'm gonna aim down on Marishka first to see if I can get her to revive and basically do nothing. Now, we do have increased defense. This is gonna be boosting turn meter. We're gonna push back everybody's stuff i don't know if i can one shot her um, marishka here so let's let's see okay so we don't do that let's put you to bed so you can't transform we're gonna boost our own turn meter and i always forget that that removal of um debuff is is a thing it's always annoying now we do have okay so never mind she took it off but we're gonna place back our block buffs so a2 the tiger is going to do the a2 a1 okay never oh I, sorry we put the skills on cooldown we're going to stop you from taking any turns unless you cleanse did the cooldowns go on her i forgot okay so just the a1 now we're going to hit marishka Okay, so her passive doesn't really do anything because everybody's already alive, and so that is going to be our saving grace. We're going to whittle them down. We're going to, we're going to whittle them down. Let's put the tiger to sleep. You're going to hit the A2. We have to worry about Alaz. We're going to boost turn meter. Hopefully Harima can get around to it. Okay, now here's the test. Can we survive this Super Saiyan onslaught? Solar Flare! Okay, so we're fine. Let's, oh, oh, we have the true fear on us. We still gotta see. 
Let's try to push back the tiger's turn meter. We don't do it, but we can put him to sleep. So we'll see. We don't want him to take a turn and hit the A2, dropping our defense or stunning us. I think he stuns with the A2, right? Now we can let Harima do her thing, but oh my gosh. All right, so what do we do here? Let's try to bring back Arbiter. You're probably gonna try and sleep Arbiter. Oh, ally attack? Oof, damn, okay. Hey, you know, sometimes mythicals come through and they, they're just, you know, a six year player who did spend money, but if cope, cope, burrito, cope. All right, so I'm gonna ban his Odin so that he doesn't have any chance to revive. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that um, we can outspeed his Armands here. And this is another asshole who's just taking up the entire turn meter. <sighs> and I know it's not a bot because he chose the first, like, he chose Armands pretty quickly. Like, almost immediately. And then he took forever to choose these two as soon as he saw Arbiter and Siffy. And then he took forever to choose this last part. And then, look, you can see him choose, taking his time choosing who to ban or whatever you want to call it. So, it's one of those. But I'm not going to have you guys sit through the entire thing. So, we'll just do that. There you go. Or maybe he had, a, he had already clicked it. Maybe he just doesn't want to play the same game that he started. All right, so we're going to boost. We're going to boost again. And I completely forgot about Supersonic. Supersonic, it's hot, hot. Ho, 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 hold up. Check it out. I should have put him to sleep, fuck. A2. Yeah, Supersonic is a, a great set on our mons because you're able to cut in. As you, I, I wasn't paying attention until after I saw the, the, the words go up, but yeah, he was uh, getting boosted turn meter to the point where uh, it was cutting, it was gonna cut through. And so it was my fault for making that, that noob mistake, but you know, we'll see. So A1 probably on Siffy, Dumbanger Sleep. And yeah, it just, it is what it is. I'm saying, bro, you can't trust these these low level accounts, dude. You you might come into live running and be like, oh, it's just a level 79, it's just an 83. No, bro. But then again, that was my fault. It was my fault, one, for not banning our mons, and two, for speed boosting twice after the boost turn meter indications popped up. Completely forgetting about stone skin, or not stone skin, uh, supersonic. I believe that he chose UDK first, to try and dissuade me from choosing uh, Rodos, I think that was part of his plan. But we're gonna we're gonna continue on our path here. To let's bring in Shuzen. I, I, I usually use Shuzen, but I haven't been using her this time around. Let's use her. Okay, so we're going to have to try and ban. Let's just ban UDK. We're gonna ban UDK. That's what we're gonna do all day. UDK. And we just we just gotta worry about these three damage dealers. But if we can get Inethway to get rid of SWK first, we might be in a better position than we think. Then we'd only have to really worry about Odin and Frolny. But we'll see. I think the priority has to be Wukong and then Odin and then Frolny. Come on, dude, pick. Not that hard. Jesus. What's that on the side of his head? I just realized there's something on the side of his head here. That's Coldheart. Is that Valerie? That's Thenisil. Just this year? Who's this dead demon on the bottom here though? You ever really, and the only reason I'm able to like see this is because I've, this, this it's taking forever to get into the fight. Other than that, I don't really pay attention to all of the art like that. Okay, let's get rid of Wukong. Let's get rid of Odin. If it would please you, sir, could you just drop dead? Yuck. Oh, now I'm worried. Now I'm worried. Oh! That mythical champion, dude. 
It's the mythical champion, dude. There you go, dude. Boom, dude. Oh boy, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Rotos. <laughs> Fuck. These mythical champions. Fucking hell. This one was kind of a hard decision. I wasn't sure if I should ban Yumiko. I, I almost want to ban Yumiko or any lockout all the time. And he had to make a decision. So we'll see. I, I think Siffy's going to outspeed his Arbiter. I really wanted to ban Harima at first. But we'll see how this goes. All right, so nobody's in stone skin. Let's boost turn meter. And then we're going to push back, place skill, uh, skills on cooldown. So you're only going to be able to A1 somebody in stone skin. And now we're going to Armands. Maybe they're just like hitting Armands just to show disdain for the character. Which, I mean, I totally understand. Like, I, I absolutely hate Armands. Let's try to get rid of the rat. Swipe at Arbiter. Of course, you've got the... Um, Swift Parry on. And now we're just going to hit the sheep here. Because if we hit Wukong and he comes back, well then... Kind of, uh... Defeats the purpose. Alright, now we're going to stun again. And we're just going to keep wailing on Harima here until she decides that uh, enough is enough and it's time to drop dead. A3. There you go. Woohoo. All right, so you know I had to come in with Tormin. I'm probably going to ban Yumiko. But then I have to worry about Georgid. Because in the off chance that... Okay, so he's not planning on... Hmm. Well, let's just take a chance here. And we're gonna, we're gonna, okay, yeah, so. We might not be able to outspeed. I don't remember how Foley's passive works. I don't see Foley in Live Arena too much. I think it's only once per turn, for his turn, that he's able to counterattack and get a boost, the living armor thing, whenever a freeze tries to pop off. So we'll see. If I would him, if I was him, I'd try to hit the A1 on Rodos. That I mean that fucking works too. Let's be honest, it it worked. He aimed down on Rodos and it happened. So let's go ahead and do that, and let's put Georgia to sheep, <laughs> to sheep to sleep. Now Tormund is still a damage dealer, so we're not out of the fight yet. Let's hit the A3. Boom. We'll protect ourselves, and now we can stun. Yeah, the passive for you only works um, every turn, I think. Once per turn. Or, or there's, there's a cool there's a cooldown for his passive, is what I'm trying to say. So let's get rid of Yastrid. Or try to get rid of Yastrid. Because she can be quite annoying too. I'm going to sheep you. Try to put your skills on cooldown. Resisted. Bring back. And let's push your turn meter back. Yastrid's I, I've got a thing for Yastrid. I love my wife, but like not in a good way. I just like I got a I got a bone to pick with her. Oh, well, that doesn't sound right either way. Alright, let's just throw it on auto here. Yeah, okay. Now I don't know what this guy does, so let's find out. Got rid of Siffy. I have to worry about Mikage going first. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what the, what this guy does. Uh, he looks new. There's so many new champions always coming to raid, and I'm just like, I, I, don't, I don't know what I don't, I don't know what anybody does anymore. Martyr needs a buff. Ooh, Stone Skin Mikage. That's an issue. Boop. All right. What do you do? Is he a? He looks like he attacks. Okay. Yeah, that looked like that hurt. Hmm. Sheep Mikage. 
And let's aim down on Duchess. In fact, let's go ahead and get rid of her. I'm glad we were able to do a little bit of extra damage to secure that kill. Now we just have to worry about Wukong, who should have his skills on cooldown. So the A1 hurts. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to stun Mikage all that much because of negative affinity. We're just going to hit the A1. Hopefully we get a bunch of extra turns. Skills on cooldown. Okay. Defining moment. Oh, he doesn't got it. He doesn't have it. He doesn't, he doesn't got it. Where's my English at? Sorry. American education system. He doesn't have it. Okay. So, kind of made a mistake here. I didn't ban his UDK. But we'll see if Mikage can put in some work here. Um, okay, so we're able to put her to sleep. I am worried about Wukong here. But it was between Wukong and Harima. And I wasn't too confident that I was going to be able to take down Harima just based on, you know, past experiences. So I banned her. And let's just hit you. We can try to extend or we can try to, yeah, uh, no, because he's going to try and steal. So let's go ahead and hit the A2. Okay, so we don't get, we don't, we, they just have high resist. They just have high resist. That's what it is. Or we got 3 percented. I think the next move I should try to use Makage's A3 here. Can't really do much right now. Probably cleanse. That's a good move. If you can cleanse. Unless the cooldown went off. Never mind. Uh oh. A3. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. Okay, we're all right. We're all, we survived one round. We've survived. We were, we're surviving one round. Remove that. We don't get rid of the stone skin. Ymir, let me win, bro. This is why it's so important to get rid of UDK. Do you have your A2 back? Oh, fuck. All right. Okay. Do we boost? He's just going to hit the A3. So I don't think there's a point in boosting quite yet. Alright, now we can start trying to supercharge Rotos with his A2. We'll see if we last long enough. If we can get enough, I think it takes like three, maybe four good swipes. Then we can get rid of Wukong for sure And we're going to actually... Yeah, let's bring him back. We'll bring him back. Can we hit the A2? Really? Nobody? Everybody's got high resist. Is that what we're doing here? And we get petrified on Mikage. I hate... Um, I, I'm telling you guys, Mithrala, dude. Mithrala, why are you doing this to me? Okay. I feel like we're going to be in a bit of a stalemate for a minute, so I'm just going to throw it on auto, focusing down on UDK for now. We'll just see how this turns out. But yeah, this is why you either ban UDK or you... Yeah, I should have banned UDK. But then I'm like, how would I have dealt with Harima? Because he banned my... Um, I brought in Anithwe. I was hoping he would have banned Sifi or, or Warlord this time around, but he didn't. Alright, I'm going to skip ahead because this is going to take a while, I think. And look at that, I just got sheeped. Two turns for sheep. Two turns sheep. Ah, sheep. Alright, finally got his UDK down. Let's start swiping at Arbiter. 
And there we go. So now we just have to worry about Mikage. Sippy's back. I should probably transform with Mikage. Come on, Sun Wukong. You got this. Oh, shit. Got rid of Siffy. Fuck. What am I going to do now? It took forever. Eight and a half minutes. All because I didn't ban UDK. But then it was just like, who would I have banned? UDK or, like, Harima? Who, who would have you banned? Who would have you... Whom would you have had banned? Uh, what's the correct English on that? Ah, crap. They got Shuzen in there. Shuzen and Georgian. A terrible combo to go up against. So, I either... Now let's just do it. We can increase defense, and we're gonna... This is why lockouts are so important! I'm saying, bro! Transform A3. Let's get it. Ah. Ah. Huh? Huh. 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 And that's not even on me, that's on advice. All right, let's sleep Makage. Then we can boost. Oof, now should we push back turn? That, that's just do it. I, I should have, um, I shouldn't have uh, put the sleep. I should have boosted, but I was worried about Valkyrie doing her thing. And I keep forgetting that Makage always removes debuffs with that passive. So what's the point of me doing what I do? I, you, you would think I would have learned Gosh, darn it. All right, who are you A1 in? Okay, pushing back the turn meter of Siffy. Who are you going to A1? Okay, good A1. That was a nice hit. Who are you sleeping? Come on, Spider Mommy, do something. All right, now we can do this. Do a little bit of that. Put a shield up. Never be too safe, even though Georgia hits through shields. Well, only with his A3. Okay. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Let's put you to sleep. Let's boost. Okay. Push turn meter back here. And then here it comes. Boom, boom. Oh, what the fuck? What the shit? A swift parry. Swift parry saved him, bro. Oh my God. Saved this entire team. All right, all right. We're okay. We're okay. We can recover from this. We can recover from this. Oh boy. Sleep, Georgia. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Push back turn meter of Valkyrie. Does she have her, her move up? Boom, there it is. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Let's hit um shit. Let's just hit you. Oh, was that a mistake? I, I, for some reason, thought I was going to be able to kill through him. I, he looked like he had enough HP left for me to just one-shot him, but I guess not. Please do not hit that A2. Oh my god, he hit the A2. Alright, let's boost. Increase defense. Damn. All because of that swift parry. That's game-changing. That's like having a reaction set. On, um... All right, here it comes. Like sometimes I'll, I'll try to use Georgian and I go up against the UDK and I hit him through the stone skin, but because sometimes the UDK fucking sheep, God damn it. But because um, he's got the reaction set sometimes, I don't end up one-shotting him. There you go. I wonder if I made a mistake by not bringing in a lockout champion by not bringing in warlord we'll find out all right so the natural boost boost here and let's get rid of mikage three 
All right, what are you gonna do? I'm surprised we smashed through Pytheon like that. That's crazy. Oh wait, no, doesn't uh, Harima have like a, a passive that hits harder against anybody from the demon spawn? Huh, make more. Oh, look at that Captain America shield. Damn, that was a lot of live arena. We used all of those coins. I still got some down. I got two over here. You got it, girl, you got it. Hey.